My next guest takes on Josh Paiva at Bellator 199 on May 12th. It is Adam Antolin joining me here on the program for the very first time. Adam, how are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing very well, man. Now, where am I catching you today? Are, are you heading to practice? Did you just finish practice? Where am I getting you right now? No, I'm just uh, getting the morning going. Uh, I got some sparring later on today at AKA. Uh, we'll get after it pretty good. So uh, just kind of going through my, my routine of, of uh, you know, getting some breakfast and, and kind of relaxing and uh it's kind of one of those days where I, this is today is my focus of sparring. Like, and I, I this, it's got to be right. So, uh, just getting ready for that. Good stuff, man. What's the vibe like at AKA right now? Because there's so many uh, fighters on this Bellator card. I imagine the morale must be pretty high right now. Oh uh, yeah, we have eight to ten guys or something like that on the card. Uh, pretty much every fight is going to be, you know, a, a feature from AKA or, or some of the local gyms here. Um, so everybody's been pushing really hard. Um, you know, everybody knows that we're all on the card, so uh, in, the morale's been high. Uh, we just can't wait to get out there and and uh, rep for AKA and show uh, show the world, you know, what we're about. It's been a while since we've seen you in the cage. You haven't fought since August when you defeated uh, Casey Kenny at uh, on Contender Series. Um, what's sort of been the reason for the layoff? It seems like everyone who's on Contender Series that didn't get in the UFC has been sort of like not fighting. It's very odd. Well. If you fight on contenders and then you don't get signed, it's kind of like this weird limbo stage with like you know what's next. You know how, how do I, how do I go about uh, getting to where I want to go next? And so uh, they were up in the air about you know when they wanted to do their next contender series. And some guys I think decided to wait. Some guys don't want to wait. So it's kind of this uh, guessing game and timeline. And, and uh, well, this uh, this fight came up, and I knew that I wanted to fight in my hometown at some point at the SAP Center at some point in front of uh, all my hometown fans. Uh, so this fight made sense for me. So we went with it and uh, got the matchup, and uh, it's going to be a, a good, tough fight, and I uh, hope to put on a show for the fans for sure. Yeah, it's a great opportunity, great card like we just uh, talked about there. Um, were you surprised you didn't get a UFC contract after that win? I know it wasn't a finish, but Casey Kenny, a very tough opponent, someone they were really hyping up, and you sort of spoiled the party for them. Right. Uh, I thought it was a little bit too close of a fight. I knew that they were kind of looking at, at, at guys that maybe had you know, spectacular finishes or, I don't know, guys that um, they had their eye on, and I thought they had their eye on him uh, more than they had their eye on me. And so it was too close of a fight. Um, and so, I mean, do I do I feel like I deserve to be in the UFC? Yeah. Um, but can I see maybe why they I didn't get in off that fight? I can also see that. So, um, yeah, I'm just looking to keep on pushing and, 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 uh, getting, you know, getting finishes and, and doing my thing. And this has got to be the next best thing fighting for Bellator, uh, fighting in San Jose, like on this huge card, it's just a stack card. I mean, it's uh, one of their, their better events that they've been doing for Bellator. How did this all come together with you fighting for Bellator and taking on Josh Paiva? Uh, like I said, uh, the timing was right. I knew they were coming to San Jose. Um, I have some uh, connections with Bellator. You know, they're kind of this is like one of their home base, and I, I know some of the folks that are in there. So me and my management reached out to them and say, hey, you know, can we get on this card? Uh, do you have any opponents for us? And and they said, yeah, we got Josh Paiva. And uh, I think this is probably a fight that's been coming together for a long time. Um, he's nine and two. He's a solid kid. Uh, tough, tough, tough as nails, tough as they come. You know, the fight really doesn't start for him until he gets dropped. Uh, that's what I've seen on some of his, his, uh, his videos. So, um, he's, you know, it's going to be tough. And, and, but that's the kind of fight that I want. I want a tough fight. I want to get in there and, and grind it out and, uh, you know, let the best man win. Is this just a one fight deal or is it a multi-fight contract? It's a one fight deal. I don't know if, how you know, much you guys know about Bellator, but they really don't have flyweights. Uh, yeah. A flyweight division. There's no belt. There's no raking system. So um, they're not going to sign guys to multi-fight contracts when they have no division for it. But so you know, my, part of my job is to go out there and show them why they should. Right? Like, hey, like this is going to be an exciting fight. If there was a Bellator uh, flyweight belt, this could easily be for that belt. You know, you got two guys, thirteen and three, nine and two, um, coming together, and and uh, yeah. Okay, interesting. Would you ever go up to bantamweight if they offered you a contract and said, hey, compete in that division? I just think that bantam weight's a little too big for me. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of walk. I walk around 35, 37. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I wasn't the, sure about that. Okay. Yeah, the twenty fivers, most of them, you know, they're they're walking around forty five, fifty, and then cutting down. So it's just, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'll happily fight whoever, but uh, you know, to to make a run at something like that, it would be a little too much, I think. Um, we talked about training camp. Who have been some of your main training partners for this camp? 
Uh, Darren uh, Yanoyama from CSA. Uh, he's been one of my my main training partners. Uh, he's kind of like he's a coach also, but also uh, you know a good training partner. He's got a great style. Um, uh, better, you know, does what Pava does better than Pava does it. So uh, that's been a, a great help. And then um, Mark Lamaco uh, at AKA. Um, he's also another flyweight that's on the card, and uh, he always gives me a great, great push. So uh, we've been getting after it together, and it's you know it's good when you have two guys that are competing at the same time because they're both pushing at the same time, uh, trying to pick at the same time. So we've just been getting after it. Yeah. So, so do you really have to cut weight at all for a fight like this? Because you said you don't really walk around that heavy. Uh, is it just like you know you cut the water weight sort of the day of, or do you actually have to weight cut? Pretty much. Uh, no, I really don't have to weight cut. I mean, I, I don't eat unhealthily, but I, I'm not necessarily dieting. Yeah. I just eat the way I eat. And then fight week, I kind of like taper it down, I guess, take some of the cut some of the salt intake out up the water intake and stuff. So it's just easy for me to get that 10, 12 pounds off. And uh, it's really it's I mean, it's really not a, not too hard at all. And, and uh, a lot of my friends hate me that are fighting because they see how easy it is for me. And yeah. Yeah, no, I hear you. Well, it's good, though. You don't have to focus on the cut. You can just, you know, enjoy and, and yeah. uh, you know, focus on the training and the opponent and everything. Exactly. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, it's going to be Karrion Fitzgibbons uh, from CSA, Darren Oyanayama from CSA, and Ant, uh, Anthony Figueroa from oh, Ant Dogs nice. MMA. You know who he is? Yeah, the name definitely sounds familiar, yeah. Yeah, he's my boy. He, we came up together uh, when I first started out uh, fighting. He was one of my main training partners, and then he's kind of – Gone on to that coaching role as well, not really uh, competing in MMA as much. Um, but yeah, he he kind of he knows what I do. What you know, after years of putting rounds in together, he knows what I do best and and uh, you know what works for me. So kind of reminds me of that stuff. And uh, yeah, he's he's a good uh, a good coach for me. How do you see this fight playing out on May twelfth? Man, I think it's gonna go. Uh, you know, I I like to touch this kid up, but I like to be everywhere. You know. Um, like my every time I, I I fight, my my idea of how it's gonna go is that I'm gonna dominate this fight for 14 minutes and then I'm gonna find a way to get a finish in the last minute. You know I don't want to say that I'm gonna get in and get out because if it doesn't happen then what does that put me in? What, what kind of position? You know oh shit like it didn't work out that way right? Like I'm ready to I'm ready to to grind and get after it. I'm also ready to be in situations that I don't want to be in like spots where it's like oh damn like I didn't plan on this like mentally I'm prepared to be where I don't want to be and maybe be hurt or, you know, something like that. So, uh, you know, I just want to get out there and push the pace, push the cardio, um, and grind on this kid and, and, and touch his liver and touch his head and touch his legs and, uh, you know, frustrate him and, and make him not want to be there. It's going to be an awesome fight. It's Bellator 199 coming up here May 12th. Uh, Adam, it was great getting a chance to talk to you, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media and if you got any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours. All right. Well, you can find me at uh, Adam Antolin MMA on Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, Adam Antolin. I think that's what it is. Uh, Twitter, Adam Antolin. Uh, and then I want to thank my sponsors. I got uh, GFY, um, Self Defined, uh, Fast and Furious, Auto Detail, um, PTR. Um, shoot, some people are going to get mad because I can't remember them off the top of my head for sure. Um, uh, Druva, Campo Debachi. Um, and then all the gyms that I train at, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be, uh, in this position without these guys and, and all the hard work for my teammates. Um, so yeah, that's it. What's up fight fans. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to see even more interviews with your favorite UFC and Bellator fighters. We've also got coverage at events, including post-fight press conferences and media scrums. And if you like this video, check out the video to my right. It's worth your time.